Hey, ¿qué onda? Vaya a ser with you, from home. Today's recipe comes from Doña Laura, and it's called ceviche de pescado troceado. I've been preparing it since about 2011. Doña Laura is my friend and neighbor. She was born and used to live in a small and beautiful town called San Luis Oyatlán, located near the famous Laguna de Chapala, or at least it's famous here in my country. At this side of the laguna, people used to fish every day, so they get really, really fresh mojarras to eat. Doña Laura's family fish, peel, and prepare the mojarras to sell them either complete or in filetes. In future videos, I will show you some recipes to prepare the whole mojarras, but today, it's a churning of the ceviche from filetes troceados. Mm, what about if we translate it into chopped fish ceviche? I will leave the list of the ingredients in the description box here below, as usual. Ok, lávense las manitas. Let's start. Step 1. Chop the filet. Trocear el filete. First of all, be sure that the filet is clean. If it isn't, rinse it with clean water. Then, use a board and a knife to cut the filet in strips. I like to use my clamps to avoid leaving the fish smell on my hands. Then, just twist it and chop in small cubes, as big as the lightning you'll get something like this. It is very usual to buy molido de pescado in any pescaderia to prepare ceviche, but doing it the way I'm showing you gives the ceviche a better taste. Plus, you know exactly the type of fish that you're preparing. This gives place to the first culinary hack, change the source of the fish. You can prepare this one with practically any type of filet, either common or sophisticated. Try it with mojarra, carpa, tilapia, sawfish, night perch, red snapper, salmon, tuna, or any other. Your imagination and toco are the limit. Step 2. Add lemon juice. You can either get the lemon juice before to start cooking and just add it to the fish, or squeeze the lemons directly on the bowl where you're preparing it. If you go for the second choice, my advice is to use a strainer on the bowl to avoid the seeds and lemon segments from falling on the fish, which might be disgusting. Leave the fish to rest with the lemon, you already know why, to let the acid from the lemon to cook the protein in the fish. Step 3. Chop the veggies. You may use any type of onion. As you already noticed from the video of the green aguachile, Red onion is our favorite for seafood, but use white or cambrai, your favorite one. In the last video about the eggs with chili, I showed you how my kid chops the onion keeping tears away. Now, here I want to show you my technique to chop the tomato. Probably your technique is better than mine, but seriously, when I started cooking for real in my 14s, I did not know how to chop the tomato without extracting its juice and making a mess during the process. The hack here is to use a sharp knife, but please be extremely careful with your fingers. And that's it. Now the cilantro. Be sure it is clean and disinfected. For this one, you need to remove the stems previously. Gather the leaves like shaping a bowl with them. Go with your fingers and carefully chop like making strips. Then, turn the leaves scattering them again in a bowl and repeat. If you try to use the miniature tool for chopping, the stems and leaves will get stuck wrapped around the blades and you will not get the desired result. Trust me, I tried. Look, this is what you get in the mini chef with the onion. But try with the tomatoes and you'll just get a red sauce. That's why I'm sharing with you my techniques. Step 4. Mixing and seasoning. Add the species to season, followed by the veggies and mix. I like to add some seasoning juice, just a few because it's salty and it can change the flavor. Next, add the salt and continue mixing. A half of a tablespoon is enough. You can add some chili also. I didn't do it because my kids ate this food and they don't like to eat chili. The most common option for this recipe is serrano chili, but you can also use habanero if you dare, or any other option shown here. Just get them fresh and remember that to chop them, 
you should use the mini chef tool or apply some vegetable oil on your hands or wear the latex gloves to avoid the chili to irritate your skin because trust me it does now serve it to serve as usual in seafood you can use a tostada crackers or serve it along on the plate and decorate with avocado lick the lemon juice if you will put it as topping on the tostada or the cracker to prevent lemon juice from soaking the tostada or cracker and softening it. If you serve it on the plate, it's up to you to lick the juice or to serve it just. Finally, more culinary hacks. I like to add some clamato or cremato, which I measure with a caballito. Given the amount of fish that I use it in this case, I will add a half of a caballito, which is more or less 3 quarters of an ounce or 20 milliliters. To highlight the flavor and make it funnier, I will also add one caballito of mineral water. Remember that my kids ate this one. Just like with the aguachile, you can try adding beer. In this case, I would not recommend using tequila, because fish tastes differently than shrimps, and combining tequila with the ingredients used in this recipe won't match. Done. Buen provecho. Enjoy. As usual, leave a thumbs up if you liked this video. Or give it down if you didn't like it. You should subscribe to this channel and stay up to date with the new recipes. Now more than ever, that we need to stay home and cook for ourselves. Ask for a recipe by leaving a comment or by social media. Stay home, amigos. Stay safe. Stay with me. De rato.